Hi guys, it's Danny. Time to make a little update on the alternative treatments we found for spider mites. So we're going to take a look at the orchids which were treated with hairspray and with sugar water. We're not, however, going to take a look at the one that I treated with oil because it died. If you missed the previous update that I did a few weeks ago, I'll add it somewhere here so you know more about the story if you don't know what happened. Basically, I'm trying to find ways to fight spider mites because neem oil and all of those stuff really don't work for me. Anyway, so let's take a look. This is the big file, the one that's set with hairspray on it for five entire days. It is still alive, looking quite nice given the circumstance, of course. And moreover, we have a new leaf coming out of here. I managed to break the spike. That's okay, really don't care about the spike at this point. She's my guinea pig. So I took a look under the microscope so you can see what I saw. Basically, I did not see any trace of spider mite whatsoever. And the treatment was performed about a month ago. Ever since then, I did not treat it further. All I did was kept it and watered it. I didn't even shower it, really. I didn't do anything because I just really wanted to see if the spider mites would come back. And actually, they did not. I do not see any, any trace of spider mite at all. And actually, this one has been the worst. It has been affected by spider mites for a year, at least. And you can see the damage on this leaf. Whatever you see, it's not hairspray residue. It's spider mite damage. Also, you can see the crown. Everything you see here, it's just spider mite damage. It's not hairspray residue. The hairspray residue, which of course I could not be bothered to remove. I'm lazy. Is this. So this is hairspray residue. If you put a little brush and start to clean it, it should come right off. But everything else, it's just spider mite damage. So as you can see, no spider mite at all. No damage because of the hairspray for this orchid. No cellular structure damaged. We are fine with this one. Nothing bad happened. Alrighty, let's take a look at the small phalaenopsis. Now, this one was treated with hairspray as well. It was kept with hairspray on it for one day, so for 24 hours. And I took a look under the microscope and actually with this one, I didn't see much, but I think I saw one or two. In any case, I think I saw something. So with this one, I'll repeat the treatment. I'll cover it with hairspray and I'll keep it like that for five days because nothing bad will happen to this one. And this one as well has been really attacked by spider mites. You can see the damage. And this is one that I actually like. It's a pyloric one, but it had a very bad history. Partly due to me not paying enough attention to it. Yeah, I admit, but also because of the spider mites, which, yeah, took their toll, as you can see. So this will be sprayed with hairspray once again to get rid of whatever I saw on the microscope today. Alrighty, and the last one is the dendrobium. This is actually a part of the dendrobium kingianum, which was full of spider mites. Really, really hard to take off, no matter how much I showered them. Some orchids have a more flashy leaf, I don't know, and the spider mites just seem to encrust in it. Really, really hard to get rid of them, as you can see. This is the damage they caused. Awful, awful looking thing. So um, this one was treated with sugar water for five days, which kind of acts like the hairspray. It creates a film on top of the leaf and it suffocates the spider mites. So I took a look under the microscope and with this one as well, I did not see any more spider mites. Nothing, nothing at all. Whatever you see is just pigmentation. This orchid does have a pigmentation. It's just like freckles, but they're not eggs or anything. Anyway, so all of these orchids did not receive any type of treatment for a month or so ever since I did the experiment just to see if the spider mites kept coming back. And this guy is actually doing quite fine after the sugar water. Well, not considering the spider mite damage, it's also producing a new growth, possibly more. I just need to remember to water it more. Other than that, he's doing quite, quite nice. The leaves are okay after the sugar water. So, yeah, it is viable. Pretty hard to make, but viable. If you can do without it and just use hairspray, that's um, that's pretty good. But yeah, it's a solution if you have an orchid so affected that you don't even really care if it's gonna die because it's gonna die anyway. Yeah, hairspray is amazing. I am really, really pleased. It does not affect the orchid. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray this one again and leave it for five days. This one got the 24-hour treatment and I think some eggs escaped. <laughs> so yeah. 
So this was the update. I am happy this has been with spider mites full for more than a year actually. Alrighty, thank you guys for watching. I will add in the description below the links towards the whole history with the spider mites, well, the recent history, the treatments that I'm trying and so on. Uh, whatever internet suggested really kind of failed and I did try everything sadly and I don't know what it is. Maybe if you have a small collection it's gonna work better because you have more time to devote and to actually insist with the neem oil and everything. I did my best with my whole collection. I sprayed it every five days, actually showered it and actually covered it with the whole solution with neem oil. I was not pleased. I don't know if it's wishful thinking. I don't know if neem oil has any properties. To be fully honest, I cannot observe it. And I don't think the smell of the neem oil affects spider mites. They could not be bothered. Maybe if a drop of neem oil falls on a spider mite, it will kill it. But the chances of that happening, nah, no. If you have a big infestation, it's just my personal opinion that it's wishful thinking. Whatever oils everybody suggests on the internet, they, they don't work as well as I want them to work. That's just me. If you have success with neem oil, go ahead and good for you. I personally don't. I have to hassle. So yeah, that's the update with the hairspray. I give it a thumbs up. I'm so happy it works brilliantly. Any hairspray will do because it creates that film on top of the leaf. It suffocates the mites. There is no magic substance to it. No alcohol and stuff. It just suffocates the mites. That's all you want. Alrighty, so thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more videos with orchids from me or stay up to date with my orchids, simply subscribe to my channel. I post on a regular basis. Also, feel free to leave me comments, suggestions or questions down below in the comment section. I'll get back to you. If you click on the left side of your screen, you'll be directed to orchinature.com where you'll find care sheets, identification sheets and also you can talk to us in the forum section. And on the right side of your screen, you can click to watch another orchid video. Thank you for joining. I'll see you next time. Bye!